All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World, and I'm Blue Devil. What we got going on today is a video of ODM Slim saying he ran down on Milk 74. But before we get into that video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all my day ones. You guys already know, nothing but love. But check this out. Somebody sent me this video of ODM Slim on some podcast saying that he goes to look for Milk 74 at his apartments. And recently, I guess Milk 74 isn't doing balcony reactions. He's doing kitchen reactions for the fact that ODM Slim has been rolling up at his apartments. So check this out. With no further ado, let's give you guys a Southsiders reaction. Let's go. Hey, Milk. <laughs> where, who put you on? What streets you got put on? Don't say the, the 79th store you worked at. Let's see, name some real blocks and hoovers. Straight up. Check it out. That already bothers me off rib. Let me tell you something. First of all, let me give mad respects to ODM and uh, Milk. To me, from what I see, uh, they're both street dudes, right? So you got to respect their gangster, all right? But as far as this question here, ODM Slim is in opposition to Milk 74, right? So these questions aren't for him to uh, ask. Uh, no matter what, his job is to make Milk look bad. As far as even Milk trying to make ODM look bad. That's their job. They're enemies, right? But at this point, if Milk's hood hasn't came out to try to expose him, that means that something's okay right there. Uh, so uh, ODM Slim should know better than to be asking these questions. It shouldn't even matter. You're not even from his hood. You're not even from his, uh, from his area. You know, same area, but just a little bit far away. Uh, you know, so it shouldn't matter to you. But let's keep going. I'm going, you can listen. All I'm saying is, have you ever, ever been punched on and put on Hoover? Hmm. Don't go off your <laughs> sister rep. Don't go off your sister rep. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Milk will say this. So hey, I'm it. not gonna answer they dumb asses. Mm -hmm. I don't do no answer them niggas. Guess what? I don't answer, I have to answer them. Mm -hmm. I'm Milk. It's a legitimate they question, man. Because I'm. Check this out. He he asked if Milk has ever been punched on to be put on the set. Let me say something really quick. Some gangs don't jump you in. You know, it depends who you are, right? Some people have lived in the gang their whole life where their parents, their grandparents, you know, great-grandparents has been from the hood their whole life that some fools don't have to get jumped in. They walk in, you know, because they're, they are from the gang. They are from the set. They are from the city. I'm not saying that's the case with Milk, but a lot of people don't get jumped in. People get jumped in. Some have to go do a certain thing, whether it's whether it's blast somebody, do this, do that. You know, there's different rules to different gangs. You know, not everybody has to get punched, right, or jumped in. Uh, another thing he said here is that, uh, is he really from Hoover? Listen, uh... He don't have to explain to nobody if his own... And listen, I'm not sitting here trying to put up for milk or be on his side. L listen, I'm just clearly stating from what I'm seeing. Uh, a motherfucker don't got to explain shit to nobody. If you want to know if I'm from the set, go to my hood. Go figure it out over there. I ain't about to respond with nobody on the internet and go back and forth. You know, if you notice, fools be hitting me up in the comments. I'm not about a net bang. Simple and plain. Listen, Southsiders are are, tight, are are very tight, right? Uh, you can narrow it down to the city that I'm from and you can ask somebody that might know me and you'll figure it out that way. And the same thing goes for ODM Slim. If you really wanted to know if Milk was from the hood, you could take your ass to the block, ask somebody you might know, and they can figure it out. But as far as going back and forth on the internet and having to explain to another man, you crazy motherfucker. I ain't explaining shit. So I know where milk is coming from. So let's keep going. When I'm in downtown on my high rise, and they over there, they listen. Go I know exactly yard. where you live at. He don't look like he's standing on high rise. He do. He's in high rise. That's the girl shit. No, he's still high rise. Dusty, hey, hey. No, still high spend all the money on the rent. I'm gonna show you. I don't want to tell you exactly what it's at. Listen to the dude in the back. He goes, "Milk looks dusty. Uh, he don't. He probably don't stay in the high rise. He spends all his money on the rent." This is sad, homie. This is sad. Grown-ass men worrying about what another man spends. Listen, I'm only speaking as if this was me, right? 
Even if I did spend all my money on my rent, what the fuck does that matter? I got a place to live. Even if I look dusty, I got a place to live. Looking at another man, how they live, is really fucking uh, 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 female tendencies. Listen, some motherfuckers love to be dusty, but I got a fat ass wallet or got a fat ass bank account. Some fools like to have Gucci and Prada and be broke as fuck. You feel me? It all it all depends. You know, you got to live by your means. You know, but when you got other men speaking about how how much money you got, how much money you don't have, that to me is some bitch ass shit like, worry about yourself, homie. You live the way you want to live and let me do me. Simple and plain. I don't like those type of questions. But let's keep going. Because it's like I don't want to do that on life. But I didn't put up in this house multiple times, put up right there. That's why if you see him, he stay, if I say I'm on him, he he, get, he go hide it. He go inside the house. He go, I swear to God, I, I'm a lion, I'm dying. Now, look at that. If ODM say, oh, yeah, I'm finna put the drone up. Like, sometimes I just go over there with the drones and shit like that. Just to, this is what I want. That ain't even, that, that even like the, oh, this and that. Because yeah. I want to know, is that apartment? What, what, what? So ODM Slim goes up to Milk's apartment. First of all, let me tell you something about Milk uh, apartment. If you really from LA County or wherever you're from, right? Uh, you can really listen. I don't want to sound like I'm trying to give up somebody's spot, but you can really find somebody's spot by looking at the surroundings. And Milk is in the balcony. You can see the hill and, and the buildings, and you can really narrow it down and find it. You know, I'm not saying for anybody to go do that, but you can do that. You know, a motherfucker takes a video in the car. You can see the signs behind them. It's very easy. But ODM Slim narrowed it down, went over there with his little uh, drone to figure out which apartment it is, and Milk went inside. Listen, you could look at this two ways. You could look at it like Milk is being a bitch and he's hiding, or you could look at it like he wants his safety to be number one. You know, Milk is not on the streets. He's in his place of uh, a residency, right? He has to worry about his wife uh, being safe. He has to worry about himself being safe. And if ODM Slim knows what apartment he lives at and leaks the number, then you got fans, you got enemies, you got everybody coming to your pad, and that's something that nobody wants. Nobody. You know, so either you can shut your mouth and stop disrespecting your ops online, right? Or just say, fuck it and go all out. You feel me? So right here, Milk isn't wrong and ODM isn't wrong either. ODM is just looking for his op. And Milk is just protecting his own. So they're they're both not wrong. But let's keep going. Damn, we think we can get out. Right, right, right. Fuck the internet F shit. Fuck the internet shit. Yeah. And he know this. So guess what he do? He goes in the kitchen. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Watch, bro. If I, listen, I swear. Hey, <laughs> Milk, why did I make you run in the kitchen? Why, did, why was it in front of the apartment? Why he never came outside? Why did he can do that? And why every time I say anything to you, ODM Slim say anything to you, never respond. Never. I called him out. I, he never responded to me. I swear to God. After he figured out that I'm not no play play ass nigga, he don't respond to me. When he figured out I could find out where he live at, he didn't reach his top But check it out. There is motherfuckers like that that'll run their mouth all day long. They'll talk shit. They'll disrespect. They'll do all this. And then once once they they get a they get a uh, 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 they get a little uh, notion that you know where they're at, or they find out that through the grapevine that you got their address, they run and hide. You know, I've seen that many times. I've seen fools. Uh, let me tell you a little story, right? Story time. I had this dude in the city I used to live at. I used to live in. I used to live in the city where everybody in that city was my op, right? And there was this one motherfucker that would always, always slip through my fingers. You know, I didn't. Got down with all his homies and everything, right? But this one guy would literally always pass by in the whip as fast as he could, flip me off, and keep rolling, right? And every time that I would see him, he would taunt me because I could never catch the motherfucker. You know, uh, all the time. I'm talking about this fool was the one that I really wanted to get. Uh, finally, he found, he found out that I knew where he was living at. And now that every time that I would see him, he would look away. He would look away. So one day when I did catch him slipping, I took his case with us, I, and I took more than that. Uh, and that one was a trophy, just for the fact that he will play these games. And that's what ODM is slain. Milk runs his fucking mouth, and then when it's time to come outside for the fade, he goes into the kitchen. 
you know, uh, it's all fair game. It's all fair game because you're running your mouth on some street shit. Motherfuckers go look for you. First of all, it, it, it's a touchy situation going to someone's house. But fuck it. If you if you acting like you in the field, then you get the field consequences. So again, ODM isn't wrong and milk isn't wrong. But let's keep going. How did you find both my addresses in the, in the midst of 30 days? Mm. Which one of his addresses, he just bro, he moved out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Boom. This nigga, oh, this nigga, his homework, homie. <laughs> All right, Reese. Uh, Mil, you better chill out, Mil. Relax. Relax. And the thing is, when you in a small world, when you fuck with your likable guy, oh, it be non and finished niggas that you deal with in life. Like, hey, bro, what's the deal, Slim? What you do? Ooh, ooh this your boy, nigga. I was a high desk with you, bro. Ooh, 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 this that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's oh, it's my nigga for the bay. What's the deal? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know I've been at Cali, bro. This that. Guess who my build is, fool? Mm. What? Yeah, fool. Let me know you pull up, fool. Oh, bam, I go, nigga. Boom, hey, Slim. Nigga, hey. listen, they call me, hey, Bop, listen, fool. Uh, you won't know what the fuck I seen last night. What? I seen Milk walking down the hall. Hey, and listen, that is very fucking true. Listen, when you got homies everywhere, homies will call you all the time when, when they think they got some valuable information for you. It don't always have to be enemy type of information. It could be anything. Hey, fool, I saw your lady <laughs> with another dude. You know, hey fool, I saw this one dude that we fucked up. Hey fool, I saw this fool with a bag of money and I know where he's at. And every day he picks up the same bag of money, let's get him. Like, they do that. They do that, right? But listen, I think Milk74 is not liked because he keeps to himself. If we recall, it was C-Mac that came out with a tattoo on his forehead and came out barking all that shit, right? Milk did what he was supposed to do. And back up his hood. You can't blame him for that. He exposed C-Mac for being a hood hopper. uh, In which he had to. He is the media. He is out here running a successful YouTube page. And uh, and if your enemy is out here fronting. It's perfect. It's like a match made in heaven. This was my enemy. I need content from my page. This fool is faking. Fuck it. Let me run it. So, ODM Slim is really mad because C-Mac got exposed by Milk. Milk did what he had to do. Right? Uh, And besides that, I don't think they like him because he keeps to himself. He stays in his house. He does his own shit. And he's popping. You know? You can't hate the man. You know, some people don't like to intermingle with nobody. I know homies that don't even want to meet people. They're like, I'm cool with the homies I got. You know? And I'm one of those. I don't like to meet new people. I'm cool with, with the people I know, you know. Uh, but once again, I'm not backing up milk or ODM. I'm just calling it, calling it the way that I see it. But let's keep going. Small <laughs> what? world, homie. <laughs> What's the address? Small world. Nigga, it's whoop, 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 whoop. No shit, bro. I see him every day. Hold it. That's for the guy. He's taking out the trash right now. And that's what he gets to start saying. He'll tell you. That's why if you look at the interview, he'll say, it's, just that it's not that easy to catch me. Nah, nah, he stay in the house. Nah, it's just that easy. To he do. He in the house. He know that you know where he at. He gonna stay in the house. He's not gonna do it. I swear, he's only got the he got the, the, the gas station like two down blocks from him. The gas is right there. So he got the gas right here. That's what he got caught with the first time. Mm-hmm. While the Mexicans like, hey, what did you milk? What you doing? He tell him, I was walking to the car. How the fuck he was walking to the car across the street? He's crossing the street. Yeah, yeah, cap. He go to you know Taylor. He lived to uh, a block away right there. I, I the gas right here. <laughs> then my building's right there. First time I seen a nigga was all in this lobby yelling his name. You act like he ain't here. This right, shit. and that, that's when that's when we live on Hope. We live on Hope down in downtown. <laughs> oh oh shit. this shit serious, homie. Sorry, I hear your phone go. I didn't hear what you said. Because like it's like when they get say, when they say it's like blue right now. Boogaloo ain't on It's like this, bro. Check it out. What's gonna come from this is just a uh uh. A fight. Milk is gonna end up getting jumped. Believe it or not, he's gonna be getting. He's gonna get caught slipping coming from the gas station, or coming from a spot, and they're gonna jump him. They're not gonna give him a fair one. They're not gonna give him a fair one. They, they're not gonna blast him. They're gonna just jump him. They're gonna try to hu- humiliate him, right? Uh, and that's part of the game. That's part of the fucking game. The only difference is now that before it didn't matter. We used to do this shit all day long, every day. It didn't matter. 
get jumped all day long. You jump people, you get jumped. You blast, you get blasted on. It's part of the game. We all take losses. As game bangers, gang actives, uh, uh, in, in not even just game members, just being part of the, of, uh, of the hood where you live, you know, you're part of all this. You know, you're going to take losses. There's no motherfucker out there that, that has won every single shootout, every single boxing match. It doesn't happen, right? But what's going to happen is they're going to jump milk, they're going to put it on camera, and they're going to try to say that uh, that uh, he's lame. But let me tell you something. You're not lame for getting jumped. You know, as long as you fight back and you do the best that you can, you're not lame, homie. Now, if you run like a bitch, then maybe. You know, but then again, when you got 30 motherfuckers, you can't fight them all. You feel me? So, it's a touchy situation. But uh, I'm going to kill this video where I lay and call it a day. I fuck with ODM Slim as far as his content. You know, but that whole Kelpie situation made him look a little iffy. And I fuck with Milk Sam 4 as well as for the content. You know, I'm not here picking sides. I'm just here uh, calling it like it is. Salute to the, both those YouTubers, uh, but eventually something will come from this because it always does. It's a small world, and eventually they will see each other. Uh, but other than that, you guys let me know down below in the comments if you agree with me or you don't. All right? And once again, we'll be dropping content at 1 p.m. Uh, like we used to back in the day. So let's get back on track and get this rolling. All right? I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Hater World production, and we out.